What is up guys, Johnny Cooper 64 here, and remember months ago when the Crash Bandicoot mobile game was leaked and released half ass? Well, it has officially been announced or pre-ordered by the creators of Candy Crush on a new different Crash Twitter. Now we got two Crash Twitters. The app has been renamed to Crash Bandicoot on the run with the characters looking like their classic designs. Well, only Crash and Cortex. Everybody looks baked. Coco looks like when you spread your Mii's eyes apart and Nina has a receding hairline. But of course the designs fit the mobile generic look. So it's what if. So this game's plot is very Similar to Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time with it's all about jumping through dimensions and multiverses. But in this mobile game, you'll unlock all the lands from the past 20 years of the Crash history. So that means all the levels from the Crash trilogy, and since the end army from the Twin Sanity is returning, redesigned, it seems like we're going to be getting islands from Crash Twin Sanity, along with, of course, Wrath of Cortex. And of course. <sighs> Titans and Mind Over Mutant, which I know a lot of Crash fans dislike, but it's coming since Scorporilla, one of the Titans and Titans and Mind Over Mutant will be a boss battle here, which probably means other Titan characters will return, and every single land has completely new mechanics and new enemies and bosses according to the developers. While this looks like a generic mobile runner game, you'll be able to do much more than usual runners. Levels will contain secret passages like the classic games with the death route, and instead of being an endless run, there are these lands that you can actually explore. The game will be running through 60 frames per second. There's unique little features that developers said they're going to be adding to give this game's goofy personality, which is if you let Crash just run without touching the screen and you're running for a while, he'll turn back and wipe his brow. Or when he jumps through the mushroom and he'll just look back at you and just smile. We'll be able to throw items like seen in the trailer to items, enemies, and boss battles, along with crafting weapons, which you'll find the ingredients throughout the land to make them in a base that Coco created from scavenged Dr. Neocortex tech, which the base will expand as you progress throughout the game and you'll be able to see your own trophies. Since the whole game's theme is about multiverse, they'll bring old boss battles from old Crash games and fan favorites as they update the game to make the game last for years to come, which means we'll be getting Crash 4 content in here and maybe even future Crash games as well. The creators went very deep with rare, obscure characters in the series. I bet you didn't even know this game existed, which is called Crash Bandicoot 99X, which features the main antagonist, Mr. Crumb, an evil ghost. Some Crash fans wanted him to appear in CTR Nitrofield, which the creators took the opportunity and put him in their game and that's amazing that they found the most obscure main villain boss in any Crash game and has reappeared. I can't wait to see his new redesign along with other boss battles that they'll bring back. Probably Wampa Cheeks will return as well since he didn't make it to Nitrofield yet and a lot of fans wanted him. The way the creators will be able to monetize the game is through battle passes so if you die in game, you will not have to purchase lives to continue since they want you to see his unique death animations. But the overall game base is free to play as the game gets past launch, they're releasing some new theme seasons with new stories and new kinds of crazy plans from Cortex and various other characters. And there will be battle passes attached to that with customizations. This is all to keep the game ongoing and for the new players to invest on the game and make it harder as it goes on. They are adding challenge runs, which is basically time trials in this game. As you see in the trailer, you can see all the levels from different Crash games, which is very epic. And if you pre-register the game, you'll unlock this blue hyena Crash, which is the same skin from CTR Nitro. Field, and you'll be able to get new skins and play with online friends, which will be very fun. Crash and Coco seem to be the only playable characters, which is fine. So overall, the game will have a lot of content to offer on launch and more on the future by adding all these new levels of the Crash series and boss battles. I can't wait to try this game. Pre-register now to get that Blue Sonic Crash skin. It will be available on the Google Play Store and the Apple Store. Link below. What do you guys think of this game? Let me know down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Also, Dingo Dowl is in this game, but they're going to redesign him since he looks like Alf. But especially, he looks like absolute ass.